light of what Graham Sinus has been said about being more adventurous than Rangers were in Russia when they played Dynamo Kiev, you get a place for David Cooper in the team, along with uh, Ian Durant, who looked very tired on Saturday. But I think that is the strongest Rangers team that could be played under the circumstances. And off we go into a very important game on a very wintry evening indeed. There is the Gornik side. There is only one major change in the side. That Piotrovic is out under suspension and into his place comes Majka. That's the Gornik bench. Well insulated against this cold evening. This is Kostrazeva. Total commitment there, as usual, by Graham Roberts. What an extraordinary team this is, Gornick. Came to Ibrox, looked like amateurs in the first half and were quite brilliant in the second. That was Sinners now. Ali McCoy wanted to go himself. Brilliantly flicked away there by Dankowski, the Polish captain. Right in the far side, Komoriski. Left out to Ivan. John McGregor trying to cover. Rangers have everybody back. And that's just touched over. And there was a great deal of freedom there for the three Polish players. There must be big question marks about this covering. Just look at it. Either he or Varan had an opportunity to go like Chris Woods. Proving to be very confident, but he looked at it very closely. Perhaps that taught Rangers a very quick and salutary lesson. Right behind it, McGregor, and I think the linesman had his flag up. What's been given? I think they're retaking the corner kick. A lot of swill and that Roberts behind it. It's a very good corner kick indeed. A lot of pressure in the Rangers defense and that is a slip. Uh, Jimmy Phillips to Cooper. Very tight ball for Cooper. Rangers have really got to give Cooper the kind of service in which he can bring the ball down, face his opponent, and that is when he is dangerous. This is Sunas. Beautiful play, Cooper. Superb individual play by both of them there. Soon as giving the service from midfield and ably backed up by David Cooper. Looking for a little bit of support and he gets that he's onside or is he? No, he's not. Counter-attack. Well, number six seems to still a few yards there. Clemens. Tricky player, but well taken by Cooper. Here's Cooper. Super fast. Durant. Cooper inside. Durant going. Well, I don't think, in all honesty, you could criticize them too much. Cooper wasn't coming up quickly enough, and Ali McCoy was well covered. Imagine Cooper winning in the air. <laughs> Durant. Yes, Cooper. Oh, that's a brilliant ball and just offside. What a superb counter-attack by Rangers. That must have been extremely narrow. Oh, look at it. Well, we'll give the referee the benefit of the doubt, and Ali McCoy, to his credit, didn't complain about that. Just got on with it. Fitting in nice little. Well, that's a slight ball again by Duran. He'll try the shot, and it's a pathetic one by Muscat. And really, the most dangerous moments that we've seen in this game have come from Rangers' self-inflicted errors. 
And so the clock ticks remorselessly to the halftime whistle. Five minutes remaining of this half now. Cooper. Oh, at his best tonight. It really is. Is McCoy's with a chance? That looks like a penalty, it is. It's a penalty kick. A brilliant move by David Cooper. It really was. He has prevented this defense time after time. And that liquid turn there by the Rangers striker has brought the penalty about. It really deceived the, uh, the defender. Penalty kick just before half time. And Ali McCoy will take this himself. And I think there is a booking for Matka. He's facing one of the best international goalkeepers in the world. And a very vital one indeed. This could effectively, long way to go yet, but it could effectively be get it in, put Rangers into the European Cup quarterfinal. One nothing. That is a very vital lead. Rangers now in aggregate. 4-1 up. And away goal to boot and emphatically put in there by Ali McCoy, Scotland's top goal scorer. To the great delight of the 1,000 Ranger supporters who are now finding that this inclement weather is nothing much to bother about with a scoreline just like that before half time. And the Poles are really up against it now. No sting in that. Well, I, I, that tackle there, I think the, the Poles were certainly complaining about it, but referee's been right on the spot. Picked up by Ferguson, Duran, Sunis, here's Cooper. What a brilliant game he's having. No, just a little bit too much. I think Duran didn't give him much support. Back there on the far side by Komarishki. And snuffed out again by this Rangers defense. Well, according to my watch, which is always a reliable one, we've about 30 seconds remaining. Duran, Ed Ferguson. Referee coming in to quell that little bust of temper by both. Must say our Polish director is very fond of showing shots of cameras and commentators. It's not our doing. Makes a change though. Say that. Looking for the one-two again and looking dangerous until the final shot. And we've gone the full 45 minutes. We're in stoppage time. Here's Terry Butcher, Rangers captain. Meant that for Duran. And there goes the halftime whistle. The Rangers supporters, a small band of them, quite exultant at that penalty strike by Ali McCoy. A totally deserved reach by Rangers. They played with great intelligence, the defense has been immaculate. Davy Cooper has been absolutely brilliant. That's been the ace in the pack for Rangers. They played him, he's always risky away from home, and he's turned up some. Rangers looking good. 
Well, they really haven't got going, Gornick, and that much credit goes to the way Rangers have stuffed them out in midfield and counter-attack. But they're still trying hard. That's Gormaniski. Trying to play on the right, that's intelligent play. And there is Graham Roberts. Just once or twice in the first half, you got the impression there was slack marking by the Rangers' defence. This is essential for concentration. And Rangers at the moment are being forced back into the penalty area. Gornick fighting to get what would turn out to be them, a, a morale-boosting early goal in this half. They need it badly. And Phillips gets behind it. And so often the Rangers' defence have covered up very well. Haven't been all that many gaps. There's Durant back. Free kick to Rangers. It has been said of Durant on Saturday by the assistant manager Walter Smith that he's had so many games to play for such a young player that he was jaded uh, last Saturday. I, I still think he hasn't fully recovered his sparkle that he showed in the Skull Cup, which went to extra time and took a lot out of him. Run there by Durant. Kept it in well, Sunnis. Ferguson, that's a superb pass. Now, David Cooper. McGregor's going up as well. Cooper. Back it goes to Durant. And the ball was sliding away from him. It wasn't, in fact, an easy chance. I think uh, David Cooper wanted to go to the outside, stabbed it in there. And the attention of Clements on his side put him off, I think. Oh, Sinners. Right on the spot. Just kept in there by Kostrozeva. Jimmy Phillips trying to go in and Roberts is there again. Powerful tackle. And a free kick given for that challenge, I think. The latest challenge by Phillips rather than the initial one by Roberts. Uh, they've got to watch Komanishki here. Will he rattle him in from a long way? That's what he's renowned for. Very dangerous with three kicks. But Iwan is there as well. They're trying to sort that wall out. 12 minutes gone. Free kick to Gornick. Ooh, that's a pass. There was a deflection. Corner kick. Now that was superbly struck. And it shows you how dangerous they can be. Chris Wood's despairing dive. Wasn't going to get anywhere near that. I don't think he touched it. Yes, yeah, so the ball is out of the circle. Wide again. And once again, Ivan gets... A shooting opportunity. Well, you see what they do there. They give Ivan, they set it up for Ivan. He has a go, and others rush in in case the goalkeeper makes an error. Good running by Jimmy Phillips. Oh, couldn't keep control. The very alertness of every Rangers defender tonight has meant much in stabilizing the performance. Ali McCoy's on his own and not too worried about it. He's played a very valuable part tonight. Enormous pressure taken off Rangers in that penalty kick. Here's Costa Zeba. Ferguson just getting away with it. 
So does Durant. Good tackling, though, by Cornel Miski. Roberts again. A bit slack. Oh, that's a great goal. They're back in business. 17 minutes gone. That's superbly struggled. Really superb. And that was a substitute or Deshke coming on to score that goal. Brilliantly struck. That shows you how good they can be. Suddenly there was a gap and bang and it went. Now one each on the night. Four two and aggregate. Here's Ali McCoy. Good move by McCoy and Cooper. Looking likely lethargic. That might have gone through to him. There's Terry Butcher. Offside, yes. Well, Sutter's came all the way forward there. Try to pick that up. Gone far left. Whip down and here's McCoy on his own. Looking for a little bit of support. There it comes. Here's Cooper. Here's Still Cooper, and it's just passed. Excellent breakaway there. Brushed away by Roberts. And I think he just saved that. I think it's a throw. And for the first time in the game, Rangers looking strange. It's wide and perhaps too wide, allowing Rangers to regroup. Butcher. Not cleaning, not uh, coming out very clean from that defense at the moment. Roberts again. Rangers can't get going in this half. Sally McCoy. And he's suffering. Kostarjeva. Off the crossbar. Superb move by Gordon. Deserving of a goal that time. One of the best moves of the game. And in came Tyron. Take it on the drop. And was it a touch? The corner kick. Brilliant save, I think. We're there by Phillips. Rangers really under pressure now. Ooh. Now Woods is at his best.
difficult ball to get out to, especially with the poles coming racing in. What does it take for one, two? Free kick, yes. Oh, well, that is the second time that Komanishki has become rather provocative. Free kick to Gornick. Butcher tries to get there. No, it's just passed again by Tyron. And there was no cover there. Well, this is twice that left-sided players had an opportunity to keep this Polish team in the European Cup. Look at that, swerving away. And Ali McCoy is going off. A fresh bit of legs coming on. And as I said earlier on, Ali's legs will now be the colour of the jersey he's wearing and so probably worn tonight. He's been battered about a bit. Done brilliantly. Now David Cooper. Here's Fleck inside and Durant. Here's Durant. Wide open it is. Here's Ferguson now for Rangers. All brilliantly taken by the goalkeeper, Blanding. Although, in truth, I think that could have been a crisper cross ball. You see it again. It was just too near the goalkeeper. Gornick cannot salvage this game. They would have to score two goals to put it to extra time. There's Jimmy Phillips. Nice little nutmeg there taken on. Durant was there. Now Sunnis. Not at all put up. Didn't want to push it forward too much. Nice running forward by Durant. Here's McGregor. To Durant. Durant trying to go in and just take it away. McGregor. Ferguson. Here's McGregor. Sunnis is onside. In the dying seconds. Testing the goalkeeper. And Durant had run forward, but the game is over. According to our watch, only... 15 seconds remaining. An excellent performance by Glasgow Rangers. Robert. Shimeneko keeping his eye on the ball. Tries to get the shot in, and there is a goalkeeper who's been quite outstanding tonight. And perhaps I underestimated that tremendous save. I thought it hadn't touched him and it must have, must have got his fingertips to it when the ball took the crossbar as well. Exemplifying the mix of skill and conviction that Rangers have shown tonight. That scoreline gets them into the quarterfinals of the Champions Cup. Certainly the most intelligent away performance by Rangers that uh, I have seen perhaps in the history of the club in recent times. The referee just wants the game to go on. We are now into stoppage time. It's turned out to be a successful night for Rangers, and there goes the final whistle. Rangers have made it to the quarterfinals of the Champions Cup. An excellent performance, that penalty goal by Alan McColes, a brilliant equalizer.